is the third answer. The what's in the bar? All right, it's super early, but uh, we're ready to go. We're gonna start filming for the first segment of the first episode of Basquatch Hunter TV 2021. And uh, so I got my Feel Free Roadie, or Roadster um, backpack ready to go with all my gear I need in it, my GoPros, food, radios, then all my GoPro mounts over there in this Feel Free waterproof bag right here. So I got uh, one of my camera guys is outside waiting so let's go hit the road all right so here we go i got everything loaded up got the kayak ready everything ready to go camera guys right there and uh we're gonna head out to the location the part about diesels is they have to warm up, so. Cookie, promise. Let this thing warm up for a second. And uh, we'll go say hi to the camera guy. What up? Nope. I'm good. I loaded up last night. Your trailer? No, I'm not taking the trailer. I'm gonna be room to park there. You're not gonna, you're gonna yeah, I am. It's in the back of my truck. I loaded up. Oh, you can't see it from here. I got the Dorado in the back of the truck, all my rods. All right. So here we go. I got the kayaks loaded up, or the kayak loaded up in the back. I'm not used to saying kayak because I'm used to having my trailer with me, but there won't be parking for the trailer, so I had to consolidate all my gear and put it in the back of my truck, which is fine. That's why I got a pickup truck for. And uh, it makes things a little bit different because. I always get nervous about hauling things in the back of the truck because I'm not used to it. But I just drive a little bit slower on turns and accelerate a little bit slower. But you can see back there, um, you can see the kayak, you can see the, the rods, everything. I kept the kayak loaded up. Got a, I got Bo the camera guy behind me. And we are going to film on seaplanes today. I can't wait. This is gonna, I, I'm so scared. I ain't gonna lie. I am scared. I uh, have a big fear of flying. I have a big fear of heights. And I'm doing both today. And not only am I going flying and being up high today, but since we're gonna be flying with flight instructors, the plane that I'm gonna be in has two sets of controls. So the pilot already gave me a heads up. He goes, yeah, man, if you want to see what it's like to fly it, you're more than welcome to take over the controls. Um, which I'm going to do, of course. I have to. But holy crap, is that scary. All right, so we got a plane there. We got this beautiful plane here. There might be enough room in that bird. They need to be fishing because we need to catch a fish. And then we got that plane. You want to just take that purple bag? You got to catch a fish. Did you want to put GoPro Oh, all right. All right, so we're getting ready to go up in these planes, and uh, we've been getting all the filming stuff ready. So here's all of our camera stuff. I still have to get all the uh, all the mounts out and everything like that. But we're getting everything ready. But check this out. Here's a uh, here's one of the planes. I'm not going up in this one. So this beautiful, beautiful plane. Look at this. Even even the door handle is a little fish. Look at that. Uh, this thing is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful plane. Um, then we have this plane over here, which is, uh, I've been told, is like the Cadillac of the planes. It's like the faster one, the bigger one. Looks super nice. I'm not going up in one of those. I'm going up in the 1940s era fabric wrapped plane right here. So that frame is um, aluminum and it's fabric wrapped and it's the, it's an old Piper and uh, I get to go up in this one. There's so I'm super excited. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm not joking. I'm super scared, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. It'll be one heck of an adventure. We're gonna fish off the plains, and uh, all right, I gotta get ready. 
I gotta get my uh, my fishing rods out of here. We just did a, a, a pre-flight briefing and uh, it was as scary as it sounds. We did a pre-flight briefing and, uh, sorry, I'm getting my, uh, get my rods out of here. And we had to go over all the emergency, uh, all the emergency scenarios and For someone who's afraid of flying, like myself, um, that part was terrible. That part was terrible. Because they were like, yeah, so if we crash, then do this. If our engine fails, do this. If we hit the water and flip over, uh, don't panic. Just uh, follow the bubbles, you'll find the surface. So it's like, what? I'm like, but we're not gonna flip though, right? So the pre-flight briefing was uh, scary, but exciting. So I gotta get my fishing rods loaded up here and Man, we're almost getting ready to take off here. All right, I'll see you soon. This will probably take 10 minutes for me to get the oil. Oh. Exactly what I use. Okay. So, yeah. I gotta wait until it gets to 80. Set. Once it gets to 80. No. So that's just it, Dennis. How do you fit in this thing? I'm see small, this is small. Out. You're not gonna you see much beyond take me. Care yeah, <laughs> you fill up this whole area. So, um, try to get as in the center as you can. And uh, this is your seat belt. You got this end here. And your other end is underneath the headset there that you're going to wear. Okay. You got to get that part off. Okay. That is the, it's the uh, controls. I'm not scared of this little teeny plane at all. <laughs> no. Parts are falling off. Shit's just, yeah, exactly. Okay, don't worry. Oh, man. Well, I got my fishing rod with me at least. You're going to be good. You're going to have a rod. Good. All right, I'm gonna close this. Watch your hand. Let me uh, put up this mount real quick. Sure. That's good. All right. Uh, we just landed on shore and uh, that was amazing. It was such a smooth flight, uh, smooth landing. We landed three times, um, super smooth. Um, incredible job, pilots are amazing. These guys really know what they're doing and you know, they're, they're instructors for a reason. I mean, these guys, incredibly professional and this old, uh, this old plane right here flew incredible. So that was fun. Now uh, now we're going to go back out on the plane and go out fishing. Here, yeah, you need those little uh, flashlight markers. Exactly, Mike. <laughs> orange thing. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do like goof you got to do like goofy dances exactly. with them. Exactly. Wow, this plane is huge. <laughs> Very Loaded nice. Right in. How was it? That was amazing. Dude. Just amazing. You should have seen it in the small little plane. <laughs> you guys are in the Cadillac. Wow, this thing is so much bigger. Look, it's got, it's got live wells on the plane. This, this is the Cadillac. 
can't this believe this. Here's the Cadillac. Yeah, I can't believe the size difference. Like standing next to it. Size does not matter. <laughs> Coming from the guy's like six foot six. Exactly. <laughs> Telling the guy that's the shortest right. guy here. Wow. Well, Dennis, that was you know. I'm like, okay, I can't remember. I don't have my thing like my squawking seven five. Sorry, so, man. You're no, no. right. That's what right. says to I me. like that. It's called a sky yeah, wagon too. Have him do, and she got it. And we text. Well, I could Chris, hear. I couldn't. That was mad, dude. That was oh. amazing. Isn't that cool? That was really cool. Was Did you have fun? Bro? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's the but shit. But actually, how that cool was just that? What'd you, cool. you think, bro? That was a bucket list moment <laughs> for me. Yeah, this is super cool. This is uh, this is why I love doing the show. Is that The stuff that we get to do on the show is absolutely amazing. Like, I am one of the luckiest people in the world. The stuff that we get to do on the show. Um, that's my producer, Matt. Call those guys up. They'll be down for a show. Did you see yeah. totally There's my producer Matt and then uh, Bo, yeah, the camera amazing. guy. Yeah, I, I thought you. All right, let's get everything loaded up. All right, so uh, we landed. The flight was amazing. It was incredible. Now we're getting all of our fishing gear together and we're going to start fishing out of the planes and uh, hit the water and do that. Um, we've been here for a couple of hours already and four hours, I think. So four hours and we haven't even fished yet. So that's how this filming works. Usually it's, you know, it's, it's a grueling like 10 hour day just to get, you know, 15 minutes of edited footage. When we're done editing everything, this is going to be about 15 minutes of footage the most. So. Um, so it goes into it guys a lot of work got a lot of a lot of gear here. I actually got to get some batteries out for the GoPros But a lot goes into this there's uh, a lot of people involved a lot of a lot of planes involved and uh, That's how it works, so it's, uh, it's a big production It's a lot of work to do this kind of stuff guys a lot more goes into what people think it's not just out having fun like yeah the plane was amazing the flight's amazing it was so much fun to do the stuff fishing's fun it's all incredible stuff um but out here for 10 hours and uh you know got seven or eight people out here and a lot of people to make this all work so um uh, now we're gonna get set up i'm getting uh, my microphones on and get everything on right now to start filming the second part of this and hopefully we're gonna catch some really good fish and have a really good time so let's go well i got time I'm quick so we're gonna film this plane right here taking off again and uh matt's gonna run over there he's the best producer in the world and uh i'm gonna go fishing all right so this is a uh, part of the filming process too um i'm sitting here fishing um just for fun i'm just hanging out because right now my producer i have to be quiet my producer is filming the two guys that um run the seaplane instruction school over here we'll get a sneak peek at what they're doing but i just gotta be quiet Head back to the barn, aka Pontiac Lake, and call it a day. You got it. That was awesome. So that's some behind the scenes. Behind the scenes stuff right there. Surprisingly. So, like I always say, no matter how much planning and prepping you do, um, things always go wrong and you can never plan for everything. You just try to do your best. So the communication system went out in the airplane while we were flying today and we were getting ready to go back out on the plane to get the fishing part filmed of us fishing in the plane. And they were like, hey, uh, we can't because the communication needs to be working, which I understand. So they have some mechanics here right now working on the plane. And so we're kind of shut down from filming for like an hour, um, maybe less, maybe more, but we're shut down from filming right now with the plane. So I'm out here at my truck getting my, uh, my kayak unstrapped here and I'm gonna get my kayak out go drop it in the water and uh, do some fishing so we're gonna kind of switch gears a little bit here and make it work so let's go all right so while they're working on the plane over here I'm gonna drop the kayak in and uh, do some fishing all right so we're setting up for a shot right now we're uh, producer Matt right there filming and my kayak's right here and we're gonna we got another camera guy over here we're gonna paddle up and uh we got radios to keep in touch and this is kind of behind the scenes of how we make these shots work so we're gonna go and get set up and get started Plane ride is over and uh, we're heading in back. 
back to the dock. All right, guys, so that was one segment out of our show. Um, we've been out here all day today. That was one segment of filming with that bad boy. You guys, um, you guys no, you can go ahead. Okay, um, so Bo helped us out on cameras today. My producer, Matt's over here loading up. Um, huge thank you to the Michigan Seaplane guys. And uh, that's a wrap. So that's a wrap on the first segment of the first episode that we're filming for the 2021 season. So um, I'm pretty excited. It was a lot of fun. And uh, what do you think, Bo? A lot of fun. Super cool. Do you ever think you'd be filming fishing on a seaplane? No, that's not what I was expecting this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think any of us woke up expecting to go up on, like, not only going up on planes, I knew I was doing that, but I didn't think we we're all gonna go up and just have a blast. I mean, that was so much fun. I would definitely be doing this again for sure. Uh, so that's a wrap, guys, on segment one for 2021. So stay tuned for more fun behind the scenes footage. Now we gotta load up all of our gear, that's the fun part.